हेलो गाइस सो टुडे आई विल बी सॉल्विंग 9709 मई जून 2018 दिस इज द ए लेवल्स मैकेनिक्स पेपर वी हैव सेवन क्वेश्चंस इन दिस पेपर एंड 1 आवर 15 मिनट्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो अ की इंफॉर्मेशन टू हेल्प सॉल्व योर पेपर इज टू फर्स्ट मेक अ डायग्राम एंड आल्सो राइट डाउन द इंफॉर्मेशन दैट दे हैव गिवन टू यू let read the question a particle p is projected vertically upwards with speed 24 meters from a point 5 meters above ground level find the time from projection until p reaches the ground so what they mean is that this is the ground level so let's assume this is 5 meters and the particle is projected vertically upwards from this point from above 5 meters so it is projected upwards with the speed initial speed of 24 now another point to notice and the examiner expects you to know is that whenever a particle is projected vertically upwards it is working against the force of gravity now we all know gravity is 10 has a magnitude of 10 since it is working against gravity your particle will slow down as it moves forward hence when a particle is moving upwards your acceleration will be minus 10 now with that same logic when a particle is moving downwards it is moving with the force of gravity so the acceleration will be 10 positive 10 so now they are saying that a particle find the time from projection after after the particle moves forward moves upward reaches its maximum height and then from that maximum height comes and reaches the ground which means it covers this whole distance now first another point to notice is that a particle reaches its maximum height when its initial when its final velocity is equal to 0 so now let's find the distance the particle travels and also the um time it takes when doing questions of kinematics you have three equations or formulas which you can use the first is that final velocity is equals to initial velocity plus the acceleration multiplied by the time the second is that v square minus u square is equals to 2 ax and the last one is x is equals to ut u ut plus half at square now the first step is finding the distance and the time so we will use since we have the initial velocity which is 24 you have acceleration which is minus 10 so we can and you also have the final velocity which we know is zero because this is the velocity the particle will reach when it reaches its maximum height so we can use this formula v is equal to u plus at So this will become zero is equals to twenty four minus ten t. So twenty four is equals to ten t. So the time is two point four. This is the time taken for the particle to move from this from this height to its maximum height, where its velocity will be zero. now we have to also learn how much the particle has traveled the distance traveled from this point to this point so for that what will we do is we can use this formula which is x which is the distance traveled is equals to ut now we know that the initial velocity is 24 and the time take and the time taken is 2.4 plus half multiplied by the acceleration 
and time so the distance traveled is 24 times 2.4 plus It is 28.8 meters. So, now when we go back to the question, it says we need to find the time from projection until P reaches the ground. Now we know that the particle has reached its maximum height and it has traveled 28.8 meters. So now for, for it to reach the ground, it will need to cover this whole distance which is 28.8 plus 5 so it needs to cover which is 33.8 and now since the particle is moving downwards your acceleration will be 10 and you need the time and your in initial velocity is zero because remember you're starting from the top so this will become we will use this formula v is equals to u plus a t or you can also use this formula i would opt to choose this one so this will be 33.8 is equals to u is 0 so time and all this one plus half a t square 33.8 is equals to five t square so the time will become divided by five and then the square root of this is 2.6 now this is the time taken from the maximum height to the ground which is 2.6 but the question asks from you need to find the total time from projection until P reaches the ground so we need to find the time that it takes to move from here and then it moves back down the total time will be 2.4 plus 